Palmer, can you speak to your property here in Orange? Um, have you always been here and the, the building itself? Um, how, how old is the building and how have you emerged from, uh, f for your facility over the years? How, how have you grown physically? Well, this is actually the second time the business has been here. I, my grandfather started the business in 1939, selling Ford Ferguson and Massey Harris tractors. Uh, we were actually in downtown uh, where the current library in Orange is now. Uh, P.D. Wall & Company was the name of the original business. Uh, it moved once, but then in 1948, he built this building right here. Took on after World War II, he sold used cars during World War II and uh, farm machinery and tractors and implements. Took on Dodge and Rambler and Jeep at the time, way before they became American Motors. And then his dad came into the business after uh, getting out of the Army after Korea, he uh, added motorcycles and we've sold a little bit of everything over the years. Um, but the car dealership and the motorcycle dealership were se separated in 1975. They, they were put up to a building uh, that became PB Sports later on, which burned down and now is a paint shop. But um, sold that out in 1976. Always wanted Harley Davidson's and, and Harley would not duel you up at that time if you had anything other than the bare minimum. And we had Honda motorcycles and it just wasn't going to happen back in 1975, 76. Uh, we've still got the original postcard where we sent in and we got rid of the Hondas and I set up with the Harleys. So October 76, we took on Harleys. Had the car dealership here, which at that time it also added Datsun, which was before they became Nissan. Sold that dealership also in April of 77. We're Harley Davidson only from October of 76. We were at what is constitutes it's just right next building next door is our hog chapter now was our original building with mm -hmm. Harley Davidson motorcycles, uh, Arians Lawn and Garden equipment and a few other things. Mm -hmm. We were there until November of 1977. Moved up beside where Dairy Corner is now. We're there for 10 years. Um, the Datsun dealership relocated to Culpeper under the name of Nissan, Skyline Nissan, uh, and we moved back here in August of 1987. I uh, remodeled the building the first time then. Uh, in 1998, we basically doubled the size of the building. This part that we're sitting in right now was added on. We opened the doors to it in August 98. Uh, we had a trailer park that sits behind the building, uh, which we closed down at that same time, added our Legend Park to that. It's a four-acre park in behind us. Um, and just recently completed the front porch out front. I think it'll always be a work in progress, so I don't think we'll ever be complete. Palmer, what is the size of your building and also the total acreage of your property? I, we're approximately 45,000 square feet in the one building we're in, and we sit on approximately 10 acres. Uh, Palmer, size-wise, how do you compare with other dealerships uh, in North America? I, we're one of the, it's certainly one of the largest ones on the East Coast and definitely one of the larger ones in the United States. Okay, Palmer, we are in your clothing department. It, it's, a, it's a full department, so please tell us what you offer in the way of Harley clothing. We offer everything from the underwear, out. socks, underwear, jeans, jackets, shirts, t-shirts, gloves, boots, uh, pretty much if uh, you can wear it, we make it, along with uh, collectibles and uh, accessories like wallets, pocketbooks, suspenders, ties, things like that. Uh, Harley Davidson actually has a name for it, Motor Clothes is a, uh, their brand that uh, they came out with in 1983 um, to designate their clothing as a separate entity from every, all other motorcycle apparel on the marketplace. And your clothing and accessories departments are located on the lower level of your building below your showroom. Yeah, we're uh, operated, it's in a 50 by 100 area on the downstairs floor of the showroom. Built this in 1998, uh, just kind of outgrew what we had. Because this is something that you don't have to own a motorcycle or a Harley Davidson in particular to participate in. Uh, we sell a lot of t-shirts to people that just want to be part of it, but just not the right time in their life to have a Harley Davidson right now. And you have a generous selection of men's, women's, and children's clothing? Uh, we, we cover everybody. Mm -hmm. we, men's, women's, children's, and... Uh, what about pets? We actually have a pet department also. <laughs> uh, cats and dogs are definitely included. You'd be surprised that the people, I've never seen a cat on a motorcycle, but I have seen plenty of dogs ride along. Donna, do you see any particular trends in, in Harley clothing or is it more classic, uh, just stable throughout the years? Harley really tries to focus on all aspects of their customer, young, old, in between. Um, they have your fashion 
merchandise. You see that in more of the metropolitan areas, but we carry it, it as well. Okay. Donna, what are the, the real essentials in the way of Harley gear? Well, obviously, you need a good helmet. Um, you also need proper riding, riding gear. You need a jacket that when you lift your arms, it's not too short. Um, leather chaps to protect you. Um, gloves? Are gloves essential? Obviously, you need to have good ankle mm -hmm. protection, boots, gloves. If something should happen, you need to be properly covered. Mm -hmm. Palmer, we have an infinite amount of accessories here in your accessories area at Wa Enterprises. And as an example, there's a bike behind you with a number of those accessories installed. If you could speak to them. Oh, this is a 2009 uh, soft tail rocker. And what we've added to this are stainless, key, stainless steel brake hose, clutch cable, throttle and idle, idle cables, uh, all the chrome handlebar controls, switch housings, master cylinder top, clutch perch, up here, the brake, uh, the custom grips, upper and lower belt guards, uh, chrome horn cover, and various other things. When you buy a stock Harley Davidson, it's like buying a log cabin. You've just bought the basic kit. Uh, and then this is the room where you go from there. We've got uh, a 50 by 30 room in here for you to completely personalize your motorcycle and make it unique. Palmer, I understand there are two main types of accessorizing, one for custom and one for comfort. That's correct. Uh, this is an example of custom, anything chrome, anything that's going to make the bike look better, custom paint, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. And what would be examples of comfort? Well, that would be we've got over here would be saddlebags, sissy bars, windshields, heated grips, that type of thing. Palmer, do they still call them sissy bars? Well, that's not the politically correct term. The politically correct term is backrest, but we're Harley Davidson, and we don't have to be politically correct. Now, Palmer, if I didn't know any better, I'd, I'd say that we're in a gym. What, what is this contraption? Uh, this is actually a device that we use to change out uh, handlebars and seats to give you an idea of what they're going to feel like without actually putting them on your motorcycle and find that you've got the wrong thing. We can switch out seats here, and we can switch out handlebars here, and also uh, foot peg position. So we can do it all here before you've actually invested your money in it. That's right. Try it before you buy it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And Palmer, where are we now? We're in our service department. Uh, this is really the, the heart and soul of the operation right here. This is what pe keeps customers coming back. Mm -hmm. And you have an interesting lift here, if you could speak to that behind you. Well, this is one specifically designed to carry the weight of a Harley-Davidson motorcycle. Um, we can also add different sides to it uh, if we were working on bigger motorcycles or sidecars or even a trike. For 17 consecutive years, WA Enterprises, your facility, has won the Harley-Davidson Bar and Shelf Circle of Excellence Award. What is that award and, and how does one obtain it? It's an award that only goes to the top dealers in the country. There's three levels. There's a gold, silver, and bronze. Uh, we have won some level for 17 consecutive years with a 10-year run of gold level Barn Shield Circle of Excellence Awards. And how did you attain that? It's an overall dealership rating. It has to do with motorcycle service, motorcycle sales. Uh, customer service is a big part of it, uh, which is where we excel at. Uh, the training that you give your employees, uh, your dealership size, events, uh, just a, a complete overall analysis of your dealership is, is how we're all rated. How does your Harley-Davidson facility rank nationally? We are in the top third of motorcycle Harley-Davidson dealers uh, in the country. Palmer, do you service anything other than Harleys? No, we only work on Harley-Davidson motorcycles here, I, but we do specialize in doing anything that you can think of. We can build you a motorcycle from the ground up with a frame out of the box and an engine out of the crate. Uh, we can restore your antique Harley-Davidson. Uh, we can accessorize your new motorcycle or anything in between. Uh, if you want it done, we can make it happen. And so you work on Harleys that not necessarily have been purchased here. I will work on wherever it came from. Obviously, we do give our priority to our customers, though. Mm -hmm. Well, Donna, we are standing in front of Legend Park. What is Legend Park? Well, as we said before, this used to be a trailer park that the family owned. And when we grew the business and we added on in 1998, we decided that we needed more room for our events and all the activities that we do for our customers and for the community. So we closed the trailer park and Dad built Legend Park. <laughs> well, let's talk about some of the community-minded events that WA Enterprises is involved in. Well, when I graduated college in 91, um, the Toys for Tots program was big to my heart, but Orange didn't have anything like that. 
Um, so we took over the what JC's had started in Orange for the Toy for Tots program. And through the years it's evolved and we're a 501c3 organization and now we are Orange County Children's Toy Box. And our hog chapter provides the labor and my, uh, my happy thoughts, I should say, during that time period because it's a lot of work. We work through social services and we serve the needs of 400 to 700 kids every year. My parents allow me to take pretty much the month off from work to do nothing but the toy program. How wonderful is that? By the way, what does HOG stand for? Harley Owners Group. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. And I know that you are involved in so many other community-minded efforts in addition to the Toys for Tots program. Can you speak of some of them? Well, um, Mom and Dad have always said give back to the community that, you, that you're involved in and that you live in. Um, through the years, Mom and Dad are very active with the Kiwanis Club, Orange Business and Professional Women's Club. I myself have always done the Orange Downtown Alliance, the Orange Boys and Girls Club. Um, you name it, if there's a cause, I think we've kind of helped out with it through the years. But our passion has always been the children, the, the future growth and taking care of the needs of the children during the holiday season. Donna, it has been an absolute pleasure being here and visiting with you and your family and touring Watt Enterprises Harley-Davidson. You are truly a destination, and in my opinion, a destination vacation. This is an amazing business that you and your family have built over the many decades since 1939 and many, many years of continued success, and congratulations to all of you. Well, thank you very much, and I hope we're here for another hundred and some years, too. <laughs> Let's hope so, indeed. And thank you for joining us in this segment of Something to Talk About with Donna Wall. Robinson and many of her family members here at Wa Enterprises Harley Davidson in the heart of Orange. Thank you so much for watching and for Virginia Living Television. I'm Tammy Barbosa. <laughs>